Hello guys! In this video I'm going to show you how to use the head post tool in Snapseed. But first I just wanted to mention, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because at 10,000 subscribers I'm going to show you my whole YouTube revenue statistics and growth strategy. How to make money online. So let's jump into it. First we are going to open the application. After that we need to select an image, so we are going to click on the plus icon. Here you need to make sure you select an image with a face on it, because if you don't and you use the head post tool, it will say that it cannot find any faces on this image. Of course, if the image has a face on it, you can click on try harder, but in this scenario, in this scenario there are no faces on this image. So we are going to cancel the filter, like so, and we are going to open an image with a face on it. After that, we select, the we select the tool again, and here we are. We have two options. The first one is manual adjustment, and the second one is head pose. Head pose will change the position of the face like so, not too prominently, but it can change it if you drag it around. And manual adjustment has three options, pupil size, which will change the pupil which will change the size of the pupil, like so. We can either shrink it or increase the size of it. Smile, which will make the smile a lot more prominent, like so. And focal length, which will increase or decrease the size of the face, like so. If we want to compare it to the original photo, we can click on the icon in the upper right corner, like so. And if we are done, we can either dismiss the changes with the X icon over here, or we can apply those changes with the check mark over here. We are going to apply them, of course. And if you want to save our image, we need to click on export, which will show us four options. Share, which will share it to our friends on our preferred platform. Save, which will save the image. Export, which will also save our image, but it will adjust the image to what we set it on in the settings menu and export as we save our image to our preferred folder we are going to click on save and with the view button you can view it I'm going to select gallery and here it is that's pretty much it for this video i hope it was helpful for you if it was please consider subscribing and see you in the next one